Hi guys, my name is Manny Aponte and I decided to install a solar system in my house and today is installation day. We're here under, well underway installing the solar system. Guys are up top on the roof putting in the LG 330 watt panels. The electricians are in the garage hanging the solar edge, store edge inverter. And hopefully by the end of the day today we'll have this thing spinning backwards with sun power. Some of the biggest concerns homeowners have when it comes to the solar installation is the homeowner association process. Well, Manny, luckily you live in Texas, and former Governor Rick Perry signed into law House Bill 362. It protects your rights as a homeowner to install solar. There's two caveats. One, the array has to be parallel to the roof surface, and two, if it's a ground mount, it cannot exceed the level of the fence. As long as it meets those requirements, you should be good to go. This is a flashing. This is how we actually attach the solar panels to the roof so that there's no leaks. We slide this underneath the shingle. We find the rafter underneath, line the hole up. We attach a lag screw and an L foot so that we can run our rail across and attach our panels on top. So this is called a solar deck. This is the transition box we use to take all the wiring from the array on the roof inside a clean housing and into the attic. And it seals up nice and watertight so you can always access it if you need in the future. So this component is the inverter. This is the brain of the system where all the magic happens. So all the panels on the roof are linked together. They output DC energy. All that energy comes into this box through the attic and converts it into AC power, which feeds seamlessly into the home. 